Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven Mayu, and this is my video series on making a RESTful API using full stack JavaScript. We're just about done finishing uh, this project. Um, in, in the last video, we started uh, making the route to convert a uh, Unix timestamp, which is just seconds from uh, January 1st, 1970, and converting that to a natural date string. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the route, and a uh, user passes in a uh, uh, like some parameter after the forward slash and um, if that is an integer then uh, we're gonna call this unix to natural function uh, and we're gonna pass in that unix timestamp and, uh, and then basically that function it just converts that unix into some natural date so like January 1st you know 2015 whatever um, that gets stored in the result variable and then we build an object with the Unix time that was passed in as a parameter and then the result um, for uh, for the natural string and then we return some JSON data. So uh, we're handling uh, input if it's an integer. Uh, what if a user passes in a, a natural date string? Well in that case we have to return the Unix time. We have to generate that and uh, what if they you know pass in something that's you know, not comprehensible or not in the proper format. Well, we still have to return some JSON data. In that case, we return null. So let's take care of those uh, two final uh, edge cases, and then we can um, call this uh, good on the project. So I'm gonna write an else block, okay? And uh, let's just create a new variable. We'll say var natural, okay? So uh, in the first case, this is an integer. In the second case, let's assume that it is um, a, a, a string, uh, like a month, date, and a year. So that would be new date. Okay, we're gonna instantiate a new date object and we're gonna pass in the parameter. So request params.time, okay? And then, uh, let's see, what else are we going to do here? Uh, all right. We're going to pass it in and let's create a new condition. So, all right, it's going to be very similar, like above. Okay, natural. So, we have uh, created a new date object, okay, with a string. And if this is a valid string, it's going to um, give us, you know, milliseconds. Um, and, uh, and remember, uh, the date object. It uses milliseconds, and uh, in Unix time, it uses seconds. So if you want to convert Unix to milliseconds, you multiply the Unix by 1,000, and then vice versa. If you want to take milliseconds and convert it to Unix timestamp, you just divide it by 1,000. So uh, if, this, uh, if this is a valid date string, then the date object is going to convert it to milliseconds, if it's not, it's just going to be some undefined or null value that we can't use anyway. So um, basically, we're just checking, hey, um, was this a valid date? Does the date object, uh, could it uh, return some milliseconds? If it is, if it is a number, great. Let's just um, go ahead and uh, build our uh, data objects. So we'll say var data. Uh, we'll see. We'll say var unix first. Okay, and Unix is natural, okay, over a thousand. Okay, so remember this natural variable, it's just milliseconds. We need the Unix timestamp, so that's going to be uh, divided by a thousand. And then uh, let's build our object. So we'll say var data, okay, and we'll say Unix equals Unix, and then natural will be um, request dot params dot time and let's see I don't think you can see that there it is right there so um, so and then we're just going to respond with some JSON so respond JSON data okay so uh, we got to just check for one more condition okay and uh, if it is not if it is not a Unix timestamp, and if it is not um, a natural time like string, then we know it's just going to be you know, null. So let's just respond with that. Response.json. 
Okay, let's pass it in an object. So Unix will be null and natural will also be null. We're just following the user stories from free code camp right now. Okay, I'm gonna save everything, go back to my server, restart it with npm start. Okay, oh, we got an error, that's okay. Let's see, what is happening here? Unexpected token else. Okay, so line 33. Um, oh, okay, I know what happened here. I'm just, uh, um, ah, I should have put it right there. So sorry about that, folks. Uh, Okay, and look, th this is a big nasty error. This is what we call the stack trace. Um, and, and again, don't freak out about these things. Usually if you just go to the very top of the stack trace, then you can just find you know, what the error is. And it's telling me it's on line 33 of my index file. Um, anyway, that was just not in the proper place here. So I'm just gonna paste it where it should go. Oops, I'm screwing that up. Right. And let me just fix the indentation because that, that always annoys me when code isn't properly indented. Okay, that's much better. I'm going to save that again. And now let's try to restart the server with npm start. Okay, no errors. That's a good sign. Let's go to the uh, local page. Okay. And all right. Uh, I'm going to copy in, uh, let's just, just do a test here with the Unix. So I'm just copying this page right here. Let me blow that up for you. And this should return um, December 15, 2015. Okay. okay, sure enough it does. Great. Let's go back. All right. And let me just copy in this date, December 15, 2015. Cool, it also works. Now, one little thing that you maybe you have noticed, okay, so um, it, when, when I put in the natural language date, uh, I get a, a Unix timestamp, but it is different. Here, you, you can notice it's 145010-5200. And, you know, like, wait a second, when, you know, shouldn't it be this one, the one that we copied and pasted? Okay, because whenever I paste in that Unix, I also get December 15, 2015. So, like, what's going on? Like, uh, we're, we're getting different Unix timestamps. Okay, so this is basically what's happening. Uh, in a day, in a day, there are 86,400 seconds. Multiply that by 1,000, and you got the milliseconds. So, when we parse a date with a natural string, it's just going to give us the, 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 the starting like time at like 12 midnight. So when I pass in um, like like this, uh, if I just pass in like December yeah, 15, 2015, all right, this is the Unix timestamp for that day. And this is at exactly 12 midnight in like zero seconds. Um, th that's the only difference. If I, if I change this to December 16, Okay. All right. This is the uh, the timestamp for December 16, 2015. All right. Let me just copy that Unix code. Put it over here. Okay. And look, I'm getting December 16. All right. Great. Let me just subtract one millisecond or one uh, second from this. So it ended with 600. Let's do 599. Okay, so now I just subtracted one second, and this is December 15, 2015. So um, basically, we have like a big range of milliseconds for the day. Um, this is December 15th at 11.59 p.m. and 59 seconds. And if I add uh, one more second to that, then we'll get December 16th at 12 midnight. Um, so, so anyway, um, you're, you're, you're going to get different results on the, on the Unix time stamps. Um, if you pass in a natural language date, it's going to give you the Unix time at exactly 12 midnight. Uh, if you do it any other way, you know, no problem. It's still going to give you the correct date. Just, you know, keep that in mind. Okay, so um, let's just test one more thing. Uh, if we 
if we give it something other than a Unix time or something other than a natural language state, then it should create uh, some error for us. So let's just say hello world, and that shouldn't work. And sure enough, it doesn't. We get null for both the Unix and natural values. All right, folks. Well, that is that's pretty much it for the uh, for the route. Um, so we created an index route, and then we created a route for our uh, time function. We have this Unix to natural uh, function that we've used. We set up a couple of conditions, and we responded appropriately with some JSON data. Um, now, I kind of went about this the, the long and hard way. Um, you can certainly use um, a, a library like moment.js. Uh, this is a really good library, and if I'm going to make a production app that's using, you know, dates and and uh, has to convert like milliseconds and uh, Unix timestamps and all that stuff, I would probably use something like Moment. Um, it, it's got a lot of great uh, methods on here, so definitely something that you would check it out. If you wanted to use Moment, uh, I mean, really simple. All you would have to do is just go to your terminal uh, and see. Let me blow that up. You would do something like npm install dash dash save moment, and then uh, just just like your your other you know um, dependencies, you would require it in, and and that would be it. Uh, but for this you know project, we're not going to do that, so no worries if you want to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, so we have completed all of the user stories for this uh, assignment at Free Code Camp. And if you followed along, you can certainly check this off and move on to the next one. In the final video, I'm going to show you how we can deploy this to Heroku so it can actually be live on the internet and so that people can, you know, visit, you know, our, our application and use it. So I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.